I see you're very clearly very passionate about politics, which is fantastic as concerned. I, I contested uh, two elections. No, sure. <laughs> but the fact that in the manner in which citizens in Bengaluru speak about politics, that somehow doesn't reflect in actual voter turnout. The apathy of the urban voter has been an oft-discussed uh, subject. Do you think it's going to stay this way? Do you see that change at all? No, no, I think uh, that's what I, I used to tell the people in software that, you know, you, have, you don't have to write your software, you have to script your future. And, you know, when you have, even I think last elections in Bangalore, uh, only less than 50% voted, you know. Um, so in that sense, you know, our people from the um, uh, classes of the lower economic classes, as well as the Dalits, they are more um, politically aware than the indifferent, uh, um, you know, consuming um, uh, middle class who are all the time in front of the TV and criticizing. They go away on a vacation uh, uh, during the, uh, in fact, even when I contested in Bangalore from the South constituency, only about 48% voted. So it's a big shame. When you have a, a difficulty of choosing, you know, both the parties are corrupt, which they are. Um, uh, 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 because uh, I think the people know it. Uh, we can't make out which party is less corrupt now. And you can't make out uh, which, uh, which candidate you have to vote for. So then you have to vote f for the lesser of the evil. Who looks like the lesser of the evil for you in this election? No, I think uh, it all depends on... Uh, I, I'm not saying all politicians are corrupt, but there is huge corruption in politics and there is definitely corruption in Karnataka, I mean, it's, you know, you never hear a teachers association openly coming out and complaining there's corruption. You know, it doesn't happen, you know, because they're scared. Or the contractors association naming there is corruption. But um, the reason BJP was voted to power was because Congress was corrupt. It was, it was known. I mean, Janta Dal was corrupt. But they are individually good leaders. I mean, there are two corrupt leaders or two communal leaders. You cannot be indifferent and sit at home. You have to vote for the one who is less corrupt or less Who's communal. less corrupt? I cannot uh, say that because when Congress was in power, uh, there was no question there was corruption there. And um, when BJP is there, I do not think that I can give any clean sheet to them because that's the reason I said you can't make out who so is... So who's the lesser evil? I, 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 cannot, I cannot... I do not want to take that position. It is for, because I've not come to, you know, campaign for any individual party. I have my own preferences. But uh, the point I'm making is that people must not be carried away by the, the, the rhetoric or the, the, the political speeches of the parties. They must measure based on delivery on the ground. Look at Bangalore, for example. I know a friend of mine is not here. I can name him. Jai Raj, you know, he comes to you know, as a former commissioner of Bangalore uh, Corporation. One day I asked him, you know, what do you make out of this Bangalore? You know, it's like a bombed city, not just today, you know, or last. You know, I, I don't think anybody can say that Bangalore is a city which is, which is beautiful now because the whole city is dug up and it has been dug up for the last 35, 40 years. Somebody or the other is the cable guy, it could be Reliance, it could be Airtel, they'll come and dig it up. They don't finish it because there is corruption, because, you know, it's very easy to buy the cooperator. So he said, Hale kallu hasa billu. You know, I, I don't think there is not much of Canada audience here in here, this one. Hale kallu is old stones, hasa billu is new bills. You know, <laughs> so the same stone is put back and the bills are presented. And you can see it. I mean, you don't, like Amit Shah said, you don't have to tell the people, you know, they can make out. You know, you walk through Bangalore, the biggest problem is garbage, the biggest problem is sewage and drainage, drinking water. Uh, Vishweshwaraya, you know, built the, uh, the, the KRS dam, the first, the first power plant. Uh, but today, you know, you don't get drinking water in your tap in, in any house. If, if so you're what's rich. the solution? You're saying the Congress was corrupt, the BJP is corrupt. You tried to fight an election yourself, didn't succeed. So where then lies redemption? What's the way out? The way out is that we had to be engaged. We can't give up hope. We had to be optimistic. 
cynicism is not the answer cynicism is slow suicide you can't be you know criticizing everybody you know that is not the answer of course you can have you have to have the courage but you don't have any businessman having courage to speak up you know whether in bangalore or in delhi you, you see after the budget every businessman only praises the finance minister so we need to have courage to speak to people not just journalists have courage of course journalists also have lacking lacking courage now but we need to have businessmen also to have courage to speak to the ministers in public forums not just in in a in, a, in his personal chamber we have to speak the truth but it the, i'm drawing a distinction between speaking the truth and being skeptical and cynical you know you can't be you know you have to do what you can you know all of us you know there will be evil there will be corruption but you have to do what we can to reduce it you know prandara dasa which i didn't quote i quoted too said 1000 years ago satyavantari yedu kalavalla you know this is not the age of honest people so corruption has always been there but uh, but for every citizen every individual we have to do because there are always good people even in politics and in bureaucrats because in my own case i did not bribe once it was a bjp minister i didn't bribe once it was a congress minister i didn't bribe even in karnataka when they say janata dal is corrupt i got my aviation land in jakur uh, when when the janata uh, chief minister was in power so we can't become disillusion that is not the answer you have to do what you Does can the double engine ad- provide an advantage when it comes to infrastructure when it comes to development because you've got help coming in additionally from the center not necessarily not necessarily because if the if the center there is an advantage in having uh, states which are different from the center just like when congress was in power it was good to have people not belonging to congress in other states because uh, there are um, uh, you know authoritarian tendencies whether it is in congress um, misusing the institutions the caged parrot to the cbi did came during congress time and of course we all know that uh, institutions whether in the state level or in the center are being uh, because um, unfortunately that is a thing today for example when we had some cases in karnataka when gauri lankesh was murdered for example there was another police officer who uh, committed suicide the, the biggest tragedy is today uh, we do not know um, which institution is going to be free of the political party if it is Uh, in fact during the gauri lankesh's murder uh, the state government uh, uh, wanted the cbi to come in uh, state government wanted to investigate but the family said no no state government because they thought that the state government will be loyal to the state government and they thought if the cbi comes it will be loyal to the central government so we have uh, there is erosion of institutional uh, integrity and institutional autonomy i think um, I mean, th- these are some of the challenges therefore there is always good to have a position a stronger position both to the center and the state so i'm not all for you know in all the states you can't have a double engine